Good morning. It's May 27th, 2008. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is today's Schmuck Look. In Friday's BBC that I get email every day, there was a story about U.S. how we have ignored our own spending rules in our <clears throat> problem in Iraq to the tune of almost that we know of right now 10 billion that is with a B folks I'm going to be talking about this 10 billion dollars this is money paid out to contractors we have no records of the goods and services provided we have a copy of one check for 5.6 million with an M I think it was 5.6 million dollars we have no purchase order apparently for whatever that check was paid for but we have a copy of it oh goody it is no doggone wonder they gave married couples etc 1200 bucks refund extra rebate they knew we were going to hear about this get excited about it so they gave us a little money to keep us calm when the story broke. Ain't it amazing? It comes out last week, just as all those rebate checks are fluttering out in the mail. Oh my goodness, are you going to get exercised about something when you've got at least 600 bucks extra coming back? Probably not. I am. I'll get exercised for you. Of course, I'm just passing it on. I am, after all, a schmuck. It's my real name. I'm beginning to wonder, though, now that we're finding out about all this, what this whole darn thing was truly all about. Was it combating terrorism? Because any thinking person knows the only true way to combat terrorism is to make conditions better. You don't combat terrorism by making things worse. Or didn't they teach you that at Havid, George? Huh? What did they teach you? See, I get it. I really do. Your library is bigger than your daddy's. Your war is bigger than your daddy's. That was the whole problem with daddy's little spitfall over there. It lasted, what, a hundred days or so? Whoopee. There wasn't time to transfer all that money to the pockets of those who know what to do with it, hoard it, and not spend a dime. Ain't it amazing, folks? You know, some corporal in the Quartermaster's Corps, let's say based at Fort Leavenworth in Kansas, he runs out of paper clips, goes down to the supply shack, there's no paper clips. Well, he's got his request, the paperwork, because you better by God have all that if you're just a corporal but there's no paper clips there's none so he's got to go back fill out all the forms it takes to get a purchase order purchase the paper clips have them delivered inventoried receiving papers etc etc right back up the line till he gets and does his request to get the lousy little box of paper clips. Now, if he doesn't do that, all of that, he's going to be making little ones out of big ones at Fort Leavenworth for two to five anyway, misappropriation of funds, etc., etc. These guys, from George on down, have spent billions with a B, folks, And there aren't any records. Ain't it amazing how often it works out that the little guy has to be letter perfect and we give the big guys a pass. How come that is? I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's today's Schmuck Look. Peace.